They meet in church and call themselves the Movement of Dissatisfied and Conscious Citizens. It's a small online group organizing big protests in Guinea-Bissau. Since March, young people are taking to the streets, calling for change. They want an end to the ongoing government crisis. Police respond by firing tear gas. Both President Jose Maria Vaz and members of parliament are from the same political party, the PAGC, and yet they refuse to work together. As a result, no laws have been passed in two years, no budgets approved. Effectively, there is no functioning government, much to the frustration of these young men. The political leaders are our servants, are our workers. If they are not working for us as we like, we just have a way to be out so that the country may have another political leaders that will be able to give us what we need. Political stability, a promise made by members of the PAGC, the party that brought independence to Bissau some 43 years ago. Those that fought then want power now and sometimes use the army to do so. After dozens of military coup attempts, five in the last decade alone and a civil war, not one president has ever managed to complete a full term in office. We are a divided people. We need a mediator, perhaps from the international community, so that we can find a lasting solution to the crisis. The UN has imposed sanctions against Bissau's military top brass, preventing them from traveling abroad and freezing their assets. Vals promises to engage in political dialogue, but has so far failed to do so. Members of parliament accuse him of running the country on his own and have called on him to step down. The mandate of a 500-strong West African stabilizing force in the country since 2012 was renewed for a further three months. Members of the opposition do not want to see this force go. They fear if they left the country, then the president would use this opportunity to use the military to clamp down on protesters. Balde, Manuel and Da Silva meet in church to hide from authorities they say have been intimidating their movement. The government accuses it of being politically motivated, fermenting instability. But for them, it's the need for unity in the country that brings them together. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Bissau.